Thank you. The National Weather Service tonight confirms an EF1 tornado churned through parts of Mecklenburg and Union counties. Right now, Union County is still under a state of emergency. That storm ripped apart this daycare operating out of a house on Silversmith Lane just off Pineville Matthews Road. The daycare owner says the children were minutes away from being crushed by this tree that fell outside. WBTV's Caroline Hicks joins us now live from that house. So Caroline, how did they make it out? Well, Jamie, pretty miraculous that everyone's OK after that EF1 tornado barreled through here, knocking down several trees and smashing right into the playroom. She was able to get them out safely, and at this point, she's trying to figure out what comes next. You can see crews have just arrived to start clearing out some of these trees so she can start the rebuilding process. I was terrified. I'm still I'm still shaking and overwhelmed. Sherry Wellman is reeling after storms ravaged her South Charlotte home. We we're watching the news. We saw that the tornado was apparently going to hit Providence High School within three minutes and Providence High School is just right here. But it's not just where she lives. It's where she runs a daycare for five children under two. I had two babies in my sunroom, threw them in my son's arms ran out to the playroom. My husband and I did grab the others to say this was a close call is an understatement. She says three minutes later, the roof collapsed right on top of where five babies had been sleeping. My husband was still on his way out of the room and he said, you know, tree hit the playroom. They huddled together in one of the only areas that did not get hit. I was thinking God they were alive. This is all that's left of the playroom. There was one um, actually, her bed is under there. Sarah Wright got a text about what happened and left work speechless when she saw the house and her daughter Madeline unharmed. It was probably the best thing I've ever felt in my life just to hug on her again and then obviously to hug Sherry because her family, they saved our children. A blessing. Tomorrow we'll celebrate her being one, which is a miracle that she's here to do that. Beating Mother Nature by minutes. Tonight, that homeowner is looking for a rental home to get her family and her four dogs into. She credits the training that she has from doing fire drills and tornado drills that saved these children. She says she knew this was the safest part of the house, and that is where she brought those kids, and likely that's why they're alive tonight. Back to you. Every little detail in that story, amazing. Caroline, thank you. Uh, her family members have set up a GoFundMe page to help them get back on their feet. We will have the link included in this story. Head to our website, WBTV.com. Just remarkable.